Hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. How we doing? Invite and share. We're going to do a, a quick scope today. We're still on the throne room. Hey, how you doing? Invite and share. You're going to like this. We're going to talk about the pleasant words. We're going to meditate on the pleasant words from the throne. Hey, hey. You said, hey, soak fam, huh? <laughs> I guess this is like a little family, right? Hey, hey. Hey, grace and peace. Hey, Steph. Hey, greetings to you. Good afternoon. You ready to soak? Good. I uh, miss me. Hey, from England. Hello. Hi. Hello. Is that Tyrion? Hey, Tyrion. What's happening? Hello. NFBG Records. Hey. <laughs> hey there. Brandy Reese. What up? You said a different setting. Yeah, flip it up real quick. Yeah, anything is different from a car, right? <laughs> right, because I'm using it in the car. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. Invite and share. We're going to really get into this. Um, we're meditating on the throne room. I'm going to wait about 30 more seconds. Um, invite and share. Yeah. Likes, likes. That's what's up. You said soak master. <laughs> <laughs> he was praying for me like Lord I hope he's not homeless cause he always in the car <laughs> no I'm not homeless yeah I guess it does look like I'm sitting on the throne <laughs> thank you this is a guy named this is Jacques Cook again uh, I told you I was gonna play different stuff off his album um, this is called Throne Room, the sequel. The name of this song is Perfected. Y'all gonna like the song. We gonna meditate to, though. We about to get real funky. For real. Jacques, J-A-C-Q-U-E. Cook, C-O-O-K. So, everybody. Okay. So, this is what we're going to do today. For you all that are just joining in. We have been meditating on the throne room, and that's where the Lord has taken us. And so yesterday we were meditating on the sea of glass and how when we begin to meditate, when we pray, uh, we are instantly um, transposed onto this sea of crystal or this sea of glass. Um, and we're looking at someone who looks like a jasper and a sardine stone with the 24 elders round about. That's the atmosphere that we're in even right now. So in saying that, um, we, we ended up meditating on thunder, thundering, lightnings, and the voices. And that was so resonating with me. And so this morning I was having a conversation with somebody and I was thinking about pleasant words, the scripture from Proverbs. And then something made me just, where the Holy Spirit made me go and check out the pleasant words and then the Holy Spirit told me to turn to Revelation chapter 8 because he said, you know what? Out of the throne proceed pleasant words. And when I turned to Revelation 8, you all, guess what I ended up seeing? I ended up seeing the lightnings, the thunderings, and the voices. So we're going to do something really special concerning direction and our prayers being poured, poured out. Um, our prayers being poured out into the earth. And direction. So if you're looking for direction in anything, um, it, we're really going to access the throne and really do that this evening. But right now, we're going to meditate on the words that come out of the throne while we're there. And that's Proverbs chapter 16, verse 24. Proverbs 16, verse 24. So I want you all to turn to Proverbs 16, verse 24. Okay. Proverbs 16, verse 24. And that particular scripture says, Pleasant words are as a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and health to the bones. When we stand in front of God, the Lord speaks pleasant words to us. The Lord never speaks evil words to us. Pleasant words are always what emanate out. 
And so whenever you're hearing a word that is not a pleasant word in your in your mind or in your heart, it's not God. Okay, I'm going to say that again. It's not God. Even his rebukes are pleasant. David said in scripture, he said he loves his judgments. Everything about God is love. All right. Yes. So in saying that, um, Proverbs 16, verse 24 is what we're going to meditate on. Now, I want to tell you all something. I usually tell you all we're coming from Joshua, but the Lord put it on uh, um, on me to say something else. So I want to go a, a step further, you all. When we meditate on the word, what we are doing is Hebrews 11, verse 3. In other words, we, it says through faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. So do you all understand that the same word we are meditating on is the exact same word that made all of creation, that made this planet. So when we speak the word of God to ourselves, we are speaking the exact same force that made the planets, the exact same force that made us as human beings. So this isn't just anything we're meditating on. This is the exact same life force. Some people may say, well, the scriptures weren't written in. Well, the scriptures were written in because Jesus was alive. Jesus is the word of God and the word has been alive for eternity. And remember, all of this was birthed by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit knows the mind of God. All right. But that's another, you know, uh, teacher for another day. Hebrews 11, verse three. We are framing. We are shaping the worlds. OK, that's what we're going to do. So in that, let's go to Proverbs 16, verse 24. I got something real um, uh, different. We're going to play. Let me say that. Nope, it's not that. Okay, we're going to get a little funky today. A little smooth with it. Okay. And we're going to meditate on pleasant words. Pleasant words, okay? So, when we meditate, we imagine, we mutter, we study, and we ponder. <laughs> we imagine, you see that Rebecca? We imagine, we we mutter, we study, and we ponder. Okay? So we're going to say this over and over first, muttering. Alright? So let's begin to do pleasant words are a honeycomb. Alright? We're going to just begin to say that and let that word be engrafted on our heart. Are we ready? Okay. Pleasant words are as in honeycomb pleasant words are as a honeycomb pleasant words are as a honeycomb pleasant words that pleasant words keep sticking with me you might get stuck on a word and that's fine you might want to say a word to slow down that's fine Go ahead and do that. Pleasant words are as a honeycomb. Pleasant words are as a honeycomb. Now, let's begin to make this personal. Let's begin to speak to the author and the finisher of our faith. Are we ready? Mm. Your pleasant words are as a honeycomb. Let's tell the Lord that your pleasant words are a honeycomb. Your pleasant words are a honeycomb. Your pleasant words are a honeycomb. Oh, it's Proverbs chapter 16, verse 24. And for those of you all that are just tuning in and first timers, the reason that we're saying it over and over is because the word is a two edged sword and it literally cuts away the layers of our of, of the hardness of our heart. All right. And so even though you think it's not doing something, it really is. And you're going to begin to even hear him more, if not at this moment, then later on in the day. Hallelujah. So pleasant words 
are as a honeycomb, sweet to the soul, and health to the bones. I want us to really begin to release some revelation on this, okay? All right? And let's make it personal. Your, your words are pleasant and sweet to the soul. Hmm. Meditate on that sweet to the soul. Your words are pleasant and sweet to the soul. Your words are pleasant and sweet to the soul. Sweet to the soul. Sweet to the soul. Sweet to the soul. This is Proverbs chapter 16, verse 24. Proverbs 16, verse 24. Sweet to the soul. Sweet to the soul. Sweet to the soul. Your words are pleasant and sweet to the soul. Hmm. Let's begin to release some revelation, you all, about pleasant. Give me another word for pleasant. Hmm. We've been telling the Lord his words are pleasant. Yeah, your words are good and sweet to my soul. Your words are nice and sweet to my soul. That's how we're going to say it. Your words are soft and peace and sweet to my soul. Your words are peaceful and sweet to my soul. Your words are relaxing, soothing, and comforting and sweet to my soul. Your words are beautiful and sweet to my soul. Your words are pleasant and sweet to my soul. Mm. Your words are healing and sweet to my soul. Your words are wonderful and sweet to my soul. Mm. Yeah, I like that. Your words leave a good taste in my mouth and are sweet to my soul. Your words are joyful and sweet to my soul. I, I really want you all to, let's use our imagination as well. Really ponder the, ponder the words and focus on the Lord. Remember, we are talking directly to him because he is the word. You are sweet to my soul. Your words are sweet to my soul. Yeah. Let's begin to release some revelation on sweet to the soul. Hmm. Your words are loving and sweet to my soul. Your words are refreshing to my soul. Hmm. Your sweetness sticks to my soul like honey. Your words are sweet to my soul. Your words are reviving to my soul. Your words are kind to my soul. Mm. Make sure we ponder what soul is too. Our soul is our mind, our will, and our emotions. So God's word, it's sweet to our mind. Hmm. His pleasant words are sweet to our will. Your pleasant words are sweet to my emotions. Mm. Yeah, let's, let's begin to say that. Your pleasant words are sweet to my emotions. Think about that. Mm. That means if there's something in us that doesn't like what God is saying, 
then that's the enemy. We're agreeing with the enemy. That's the flesh. And we want to find what is the way of the spirit. We want to die to that thing. Mm. Now let's take it a step further now. Let's take it a step further. The scripture is Proverbs 16 verse 24. And I don't know about you, but I, I really feel the, um, the peace of God. And I'm excited about the pleasant words that I'm about to hear. So I want us to begin to say to the Lord, say, Lord, let me hear your pleasant words. What are your pleasant words? Let's begin to ask them questions about this now. What are the pleasant words you spoke about in this verse? What are pleasant words? What are the pleasant words you're saying? What pleasant words do you want me to hear right now? Will you speak a pleasant word to me, please? Will you open my heart to receive pleasant words? Will you fill my heart with pleasant words? Remember you all, when we're in the midst of the throne, there's no cursing, there's no harsh words. None of that is coming out in, in, in the throne room, in the presence of God. Only pleasant words. Because everything about God is good. Yeah, I like that, J. Randall. Surround me with your pleasant words. Surround me with your pleasant words. Surround me with your pleasant words. Let's just say that. Surround me with your pleasant words. Surround me with your pleasant words. Hmm. Surround me with your pleasant words. Surround me with your pleasant words. Hallelujah. But God bless everybody. I just wanted to do that. Um, it's kind of like a precursor for later on. Amen. Tonight is going to be really uh, strong. Um, like I said, we're doing this thing on the throne room. I wanted to do this on the words. But tonight we're really going to go into what the angel and the altar in heaven we're going to meditate on the altar in heaven, the angel, um, basically from Revelations 8, verses 3 through 5. All right. It's going to really be powerful. Um, yeah. So it's going to be good. God bless you all. Hallelujah. And um, I'm definitely going to miss some, um, I mean, not miss but probably release some prophetic this evening because I'll be getting a lot of emails about direction and stuff like that. So I definitely want to really, um, definitely do some pro um, prophetic ministry as well um, when we meditate on the throne. But God bless you. And Father, I pray that everybody here, that their, their um, day be filled with pleasant words. Lord, I pray that each and every single one of us will hear those words that are like honey that will stick to our soul. Lord, let us hear those words that are sweet to our soul. We bless you, Lord. We honor you, Lord, and we love you, Lord. Thank you for the pleasant words. And Lord, as we hear your pleasant words, let us begin to be conduits for pleasant words. Let us begin to speak more pleasant words into the atmosphere. We love you, we thank you, and we praise you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. God bless you all. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for the compliment. Thank you. Um, my email is K-A-Z-B-L-A-K-1 at gmail.com. 
Thanks, Rebecca. Rebecca, put up my email for me, please, on there. K-A-Z, you said you did not respond to my foot request. I didn't see your foot request. What do you What do you mean? Thank you, Count on the Roof. Bless you as well. If I didn't respond to a request, I had my eyes closed meditating. Oh, TJ's grandma, I'm going to uh, prophesy to you later this evening. I got your email. So this evening, okay? This evening. Who was the person who said a foot request? Where, where are you? Oh, friend request. Oh, okay. I was like, I'm, I'm sorry. God bless you all. <laughs> okay, K A Z B L A K 1 at gmail.com. Um, and my Facebook is Philip M. Watson at gmail.com. Um, and like I said before, if you want the prophetic word, you have to send me an um, email because I made the mistake before of saying I'm going to prophesy. And then about 50 people I got to sit here and prophesy to. Like, <laughs> you saw me in the royal zone? <laughs> Praise God. I love you all. And I'll see you later. Hey, from London, Cambridge. We got two London people on. That's what's up. All right. See you all this evening. Bye-bye.